In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to handle missing data in SPSS and Smart PLS 3. Okay, over in SPSS, uh, let's say you have some missing data. I know I have in this data set um, quite a bit of missing data on the social desirability bias variables, particularly number seven here. I think I have like 48 missing values or something. There's a quick way to know how much missing data you have. Um, and where it is. If you go to analyze and go to missing value analysis, that's new in versions 24 and 25, I believe. This will allow you to say which variables you want in this analysis. I'll just do all of them except um, my ID. Don't need to do it for the ID. And just accept all the defaults for now. Uh, hit OK. It will run an analysis. Let me bring it up here real quick. Whoop. Let's see. Sorry. Okay. And this brings up an analysis of every variable um, and how many are missing for each variable. Now, if you have a ton of variables, you may want to sort this by uh, the missing percent or missing count. So let's do this. I'm going to double click the table. And when you double click the table, this will pop up and you can just click what you want here. Let me click on count percent, right click that and sort rows. <laughs> It's showing me options way down here that you can't see. I'm sorry. Uh, click on ascending or descending. I'm going to do descending. And it puts the highest percent at the top there. Then you close that and it's going to be resorted right here. It looks like social desirability 7 has 12.6% missing data quite a bit. And everything else is fairly nominal. But let's say I'm going to replace all values with a um, missing variable label or identifier. The way to do this um, in SPSS, there's unfortunately, I can't find a way to do it through the menu system, but you can do it with syntax. So you'd go to File, New, Syntax, and the syntax is fairly straightforward for this one. Uh, you just type recode, that's the keyword there, recode, and then you're going to select which variables using this little variable insertion box. You can either just insert them all, except ID. Uh, by clicking on the first or the, the first one you want, all the way to the last one you want, holding shift and hitting paste. And that'll stick all of these in here. Um, let me close this. You can do that, or you could just do the first one to the last one and replace all the middle ones with two. And this just says, uh, from this variable to this variable, do the following. What do we want to do? We want to replace missing, in parentheses, missing, equals, and I'll just use negative 99. That's a fairly common missing uh, identifier. And then close that. If we run this now, you see, click up here, hit play. If it gave us an, if, if there were an error, it would have uh, thrown us an error here, but no error on this one. Um, and now if we go look at our code, you may be surprised to see that there is no change. But that's because SPSS just doesn't update, which is weird. Uh, if you right click this and then sort uh, ascending, you'll see actually those values are there, negative 99s, and they should be everywhere. So um, if I go click on any other one, social desirability 5, let's say, and sort ascending, you can see here are those blank ones. Looks like we have two rows who didn't do anything. Um, but we'll leave those in for now. So what we have now is a data set where we have every missing value identified. Now in um, SPSS, you also need to go to variable view, and then in this missing column, you want to identify that a missing value is a discrete value, which we have given the value of 99, um, and hit OK. Now, I should be able to copy this and paste it over, yep, there it is, paste it over all these others. So I just hit Control c Control v or Command-C, Command-V if you're on a Mac, uh, highlight all of this. Woo. A lot of variables. Holy cow. But we did it for all of them. There we go. Paste. So now negative 99 is the missing value indicator. Now when I run analyses in SPSS, it will know to exclude those missing values in the analysis. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and save this as. And we're going to save it as a data file that can be read in Smart PLS. So where is this? This is in my SEM bootcamp, that'll work. And instead of a .sav file, we're going to save this as a .csv file for uh, bootcamp missing. Okay, 
save this. We should now have a data set ready for uh, Smart PLS. If I go open Smart PLS and I have a project running and I want to add data to it, just right click that project. Let's see, import data file. And it's this one right here, bootcamp missing. And we'll just call it that. That's great. But what you have to do now is you have to specify a missing value marker. So click on this link that says none and change it to negative 99. And now Smart PLS knows that those negative 99s aren't actually negative 99s, they're just missing values. So this should change the analysis a bit. For example, if I were to go to, let me see, let me sort by missing here. You can see it recognizes there are 48 missing. And um, the mean right now is 2.9. Remember that. If I go back and change this to nothing, delete that, hit OK, and I go to missing, it says, oh, you don't have any missing values. Well, let's go to social desirability 7. Let's see, open this up a bit. Here we go. Number 7, and it says none missing, and the mean is negative 9.8, which is very different from 2.9 or whatever it was. So you do need to include that marker, negative 99. And then Smart PLS will run just fine, uh, excluding those values as needed and as appropriate. There we go, 2.9 is the mean, 48 missing. And that's how you do it. So not too complicated, hope that helps.